today on Make and Drink, we're gonna be using our PIM particles and making these Quantum Mania cocktails. We'll be jumping into the world of the smallest adventure, the Ant-Man, to make these three fun and delicious drinks. So, let's go. Okay, so technically, I don't even know what quantum media means, so instead, we'll be venturing into Avengers Campus at Disney's California Adventure to Pim's Tasting Lab and making a couple of the cocktails you can find there in honor of the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. We'll be making the experiment, which includes tequila, mango and habanero syrups, and a mango-filled boba. Honey Buzz 3.0, that's right, we're moving up to 3.0 because I think this one needs some work, and it's gonna include Jack Daniel's Honey Whiskey, lemonade, honey syrup, and we're gonna make a special foam for this drink. But before we venture into California Adventure Park, we have a new villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that's Kang, Kang the, the Conqueror. Conqueror. And to honor Kang the Conqueror, portrayed by Jonathan Majors, first, we're gonna make a drink that is the first ever original make and drink recipe, and this one is Kang's Cosmic Cube. I have only read a couple of Spider-Man and Iron Man comics from the mid-1990s when I was a kid, so I know nothing about the comics, but I do know of a powerful device called the Cosmic Cube. The Cosmic Cube controls matter and energy on a universal scale, rendering it potentially the most powerful weapon in the Marvel Universe. The cube warps reality into whatever the user sees fit, and in Kang's hands threatens to alter time on an unimaginable scale or as described by ScreenRant.com. So to make this drink, we're gonna use a special gin called Empress 1908. Now Empress 1908 gin, it's a normal gin. It tastes like a normal gin, but it, it is unique because it is an indigo gin and the gin is colored with butterfly pea flower, which gives it this beautiful indigo shade. If you've looked at videos on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, you may have seen people using this. And what's unique is if you add certain things to this gin, for instance, acid, like a lime juice or lemon juice, it changes the color from this indigo purple to a pink color. So today we're gonna use this with its color changing properties to make a drink fit for Kang the Conqueror. So we're gonna build this one inside of a mixing glass with a couple of large ice cubes. Now we're also going to build this a little different because part of this is the show and if we mix everything together at one time we're not going to really get that show so first we're going to add two ounces of gin half an ounce of simple syrup and we're going to stir this for 30 seconds Take a glass with one large ice cube. I'm gonna stir it just to get our ice cube settled. Now, normally you're not gonna make a drink this way, but we really wanna put on a show here. And now I'm gonna add some acid to the top of the drink. So you can see right now we have this nice indigo color. And as we add our acid to the drink, it'll eventually start changing from this indigo purple to a pink. Now we're not done yet. We're going to uh, kick this up another notch and we're going to add a uh, Amaro, we're gonna use Averna here, that is thickened to kind of sit on the top of the drink. I'm gonna take half an ounce of Averna. If you don't have Averna, you could use any Amaro, but we're really looking for a dark color. All right, now for our secret ingredient, we need 210S from the Modernist Pantry. This is a thickening agent, and I believe it's agar agar and xanthan gum. So if you don't have that, I'll put a recipe below for how to make it if you happen to have agar agar and xanthan gum. Otherwise, we're gonna use just half a teaspoon. I'm gonna take a little frother. I'm 
And I'm just working this until I see all the clumps of the 210S are completely dissolved. And you'll feel your frother start to sort of hesitate in there as it thickens up. I'm going to take our thickened Amaro And there you go, Kang's Cosmic Cube. And as you can see, our lime juice is starting to mix in a little more. The thickened Averna is sort of settling in there and clumping. Uh, all of this is very unnecessary, but just trying to build a fun, cool, whimsical drink uh, to honor Kang the Conqueror. The drink itself is really good. It's just a simple gin simple syrup and lemon juice drink. Uh, it's a lot like a Tom Collins if you added some seltzer water to this, but that Averna adding a little bit more of that bitterness definitely takes this drink to just another level and it makes it even more interesting when you're drinking a purple drink that has this big sort of bold, bitter flavor. Um, Averna is becoming more and more popular. You can even find it at Costco nowadays. So if you don't have it, like I said, you can use another bottle of Amaro or something else that adds that bitterness. And if you want to thicken it, you could use a 210S, but you don't have to. You can also just float that over the top and it should make a pretty interesting drink. And now to Avengers Campus, which opened on June 4th in 2021. And the only restaurant in the campus is the Pim's Test Kitchen. And right outside of it is Pim's Tasting Lab. They have several cocktails there, including beer cocktails and seltzer cocktails. And honestly, I think most of these drinks need a little bit of help. Now, there are many places around the Disneyland Resort to have exceptional cocktails. Uh, Trader Sam's, uh, Carthay Circle Lounge, the Napa Rose, and I've even heard really great things about Oga's Cantina. But elsewhere, it's hit and miss. Uh, while I love me some Rita's Baja Frozen Margaritas, these aren't high quality cocktails, they're theme park drinks. So today, we're gonna take two of the Pim's Tasting Lab cocktails and workshop them to see if we can develop them into something just as fun and playful, but maybe a little more elevated and balanced. All right, first up, we're gonna make a drink called the Experiment, and we're going to shake this, so you can start with building this in your small shaker tin. So this mango habanero simple syrup I made a few days ago, what I did is I took half of a mango, cut it up into small pieces, and then a quarter of a habanero, scraped out the seeds and the membrane, and I added those to a pot with one and a half cups of water and one cup of sugar. Uh, the reason I added so much more water than sugar is because I let this simmer for about 10 minutes and then I put it into a blender and I strained it through a fine mesh sieve. And this is it right here. It does have a great mango flavor, but it is hot. And depending on the amount of habanero and how hot your pepper is, that could drastically change this cocktail. And we're gonna start with half an ounce of a mango habanero syrup. All right, we're gonna need one ounce of lime juice. Half an ounce of orange curacao. And then two ounces of Blanco tequila. Add some ice to our large tin. Then we're gonna shake it for eight to 10 seconds. And before we pour this into our glass, uh, we are gonna get some mango Boba Pearls. Uh, this brand is on Amazon. It's called Bursting Balls. Chill glass. Scoop of Boba Pearls.
Let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, the habanero syrup does add a bunch of heat to this. This is a good drink. You have a basic margarita, but we're sort of changing the flavors just a little bit with that mango habanero syrup. Um, the mangoes, it's in there, but you definitely get that heat from the habanero. It's kind of all over your palate. So you do really want to be careful with the habaneros you're using and maybe seeing if it's too hot and if it is kind of maybe having that and using a regular simple syrup and the habanero syrup. If you want to get the bobas, you got to get a big straw. The mango pearls are just a fun little element to add. Uh, they're definitely not needed in the drink and they're not really adding too much to the flavor, just to the fun and the whimsical nature of the drink. And there you go. The experiment from the Pims Tasting Lab in the Avengers Campus at Disney's California Adventure. All right, next up, we're going to do the Honey Buzz 3.0 and we're going to shake this one as well. Start with half an ounce of simple syrup. Just one ounce of water. One ounce of lemon juice. Two ounces of Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Whiskey. Ice pour tin. Shake it for 10 to 15 seconds. All right, now we are not done yet because we have a salted honey foam that we're going to put on top of this. I made this foam earlier in the day with one and a half ounces of cold water, one ounce of dry curacao, one and a half ounces of honey syrup, one egg white, and a heavy pinch of salt. I have a smaller whipped cream charger, so for mine, I just added two charges. You wanna shake this in between each charge and let this chill in the fridge for at least one hour before serving. All right, that foam is good. Uh, the foam, it's very salty. I wanted to do something that kind of plays off, you know, the Starbucks cold foam, and also the inspiration from a Monkey Pod Mai Tai, which is a passion fruit foam. But this would be a drink that you want to drink without a straw so you can get some of that foam. I think we did it. I think we got something good here. So the drink itself, it's good enough. It, it's a Jack Daniels honey whiskey cocktail, and it, it tastes good. It would be a refreshing, enjoyable summertime drink. If you're not familiar with the Jack Daniels honey, it's like a really sweet Jack Daniels, uh, and it definitely brings forward that honey flavor. The foam on the top of this is what really makes this drink. And I gotta say, this one turned out pretty good. All right, that's it for this one. That's three cocktails to honor Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, including the Experiment, the Honey Buzz, and Kang's Cosmic Cube. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like, uh, comment about the video if you've ever been to the Avengers Campus and had one of these drinks. Tell me what you thought about them. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and otherwise, see you at the next one.